What's up guys, it's Football Vanasi, and today I wanted to talk about how to improve the Ethne key without changing the lineups. Because we know John Venship doesn't want to change the lineup. He likes having certain players in there. And I hear a lot of people talking about, or see on Twitter, people talking about they don't like how Bacasetas is in the side. They don't like how Fortunis is being pushed out left, or Mandalos and Savelas as center back, blah, blah, blah. But what we we know that the, the formation, sorry, the, the squad list isn't going to change and have the players that we like. So let's talk about how we can improve the ethnic key with these players. Traditionally, when you have a team with our talent pool, what you would want to do is set up a solid defense, a 4-4-2, have a key playmaker. Think about Slovenia. Slovenia doesn't have as many quality players as the ethnic key. But Slovenia has a great keeper and a great 10. Then around all of those, that 10, their great keeper, they build a solid defense, they play on the counter, they know what they want to do. With us, JVS wants to play this nice modern style, which is great. And honestly, looking at the players that we have, they're probably a little bit more... Um, they're going to have better chances when they're playing a style like what JVS wants to play. So... What's the issue here? The main problems are that I keep hearing are Fortunis on the left. Okay, well, yeah, Fortunis lines up on the left, but that's not where he actually plays. He's actually playing wherever he wants. He comes down here a lot, picks up the ball, moves it. He is the main driver of our offense, at least against Slovenia. And the game before that, I forgot who they played. He, er, they just looked like the only thing they could do was pass it around here. They didn't look like they could actually break down anything. And Fortunus is the one to come in here and break down the defense. And he goes wherever he wants. The problem with that is there are three other guys that occupy this space. That just closes down. What you would, what you would really want is Fortunus to replace Bacasetas and have a left winger, but that's not going to happen. So, how do you improve on this system? How do we fix these problems? The first problem being our strikers never get any good opportunities. They always pick up the ball in bad areas with their backs to goal. Second problem, these guys are good. Zeka and Corbelli, so they can't break down a 4-2-2. They can't break down two lines, two solid lines. Fortunis has to come in here and pick up the ball and do that. Third problem, Bacasetas. What are our strengths, though? We have great left backs. Okay, so that's probably why Fortunis is lined up on the left, because our left backs can cover that space. But the thing that would solve all of these problems is this. So this is the way we end up playing. Zeka is here. Corbelis is here or here or wherever. Simikas is here. Mavrias is here. And Savelas and Hadzidiakos are here. There and then there are three players occupying this front line. Kinda just really just taking up space and hurting each other. Especially Bacasetas and Corbelis, because they don't know how to play in these positions. Corbelius actually plays the same position as Zeka. So in the attack we want, we get kind of into this shape, right? He's up and wide, Madrius is here, let's see the Arcos is here, and these guys just don't really work together, right? So this is the way, this is the best way to improve this team. And this is what I see from coaches like Mikel Arteta and Ronald Koeman. 
Ronald Koeman had great success with it in um, with the Netherlands national team. Netherlands national team. And it, he also the way he played uh, was a great way to keep tens in the lineup because tens are kind of going out of favor. And that is create a back three with your center mid, with your double pivot. So in defense, yeah, we look like this. In defense, we look like that or like that. Whatever. We're, we make a 4 4 2. For some reason, you had Pavlidis right here. No idea why. No idea why. But this is what we look like in defense. When we get out and we just possess the ball, they become inside forwards. These guys go all the way down the field. So our right wingers are becoming inside forwards. And we have a double pivot. What actually happens is Zeka comes and becomes a single pivot. And Zeka does a great job there. The problem is this guy and this guy. They don't, their roles are the same. All of these, oops. These three guys all have a similar role, except he's the only one that should be doing it. Fortuna is the only one that should be doing it instead. So, this is what Barcelona does right now. He becomes a more classic six sitting in front of the back line. Corbelis is here. And there's a couple things that this does. He's here, probably. There's a couple, he's moving around here. Fortuna is coming in and... Fortunes is much more space to operate. There's a few things this does. First of all, Corbelis, not only is he good at playing center back already, in this position, he has more time and space. He's another option for Zeka if Zeka gets under pressure. He can also carry the ball out because he'll have more space back here to look up and make passes. He can start playing long balls, especially, maybe, hopefully, into. Uh, Limnios or Tsimikas. The second thing this does is covers Tsimikas. Tsimikas gets burned. Our best players are our left backs. It's like that's our strength. You can't have um, them burning up and down the line the whole time. They're not going to have any um, threat in the attack. So that gives Tsimikas cover and he becomes a left wing back. And also, when we get higher into the attack, Zeka and Bacasetas can become a double pivot. And Savelas, who is good at that, can stay right here where Zeka would normally be. So Corbelis and Hadzidiakos will actually end up being involved. And you could switch Corbelis. You could have Savelas there and Hadzidiakos there and Corbelis here. Mavrias, who's traditionally a winger, would be, could be all the way up there. Timikas could actually be a threat. And this makes, not only does this make it easier to break down a defense, it also makes it e better for Yakumakis. It makes it better for the striker. They're going to be in much better positions. This is just how the, they generally would line up. It's not like Limnios isn't going to be bombing all the way to the sideline and combining with Mavias. You know, like, this makes the best position for Fortunis to come in here and pick up the ball. He really busted, like I said, that should be the one making runs and um, um, trying to break down the defense instead of Fortunis. They, that's how it really should be like that. Okay, so let's go back to the build-up. Let's assume it'll be like this. We just won the ball. Right? We're in our own half. Um, 
Okay, we'll start. We're in a 4-4-2. We're in our own half. We just won the ball. Uh, we'll go right here. We just won the ball. Linos comes out here. He immediately tries to get wide. Fortunis goes up. Maybe, I don't know what he wants to do. Sometimes he wants to come in and get the ball, but let's just say he goes up here. And Yakumakis is up here. The first thing that's going to happen is Team Mikas is going to get level with Zeka and Corbelli. So is Mavrias. This creates a double pivot for Zeka and Corbelis, which is not comfortable for them. So instead, right when we get the ball and we're in the build-up and we're trying to possess, Corbelis drops in to here. Zeka plays right here. Bacasetas needs to be doing that, making those runs like that, right? Pulling people off. And what does that do? Fortunis is in here. So this, what this mainly does is offers a way for Bacasetas, Fortunis, Corbelis, and Zeka to all play in the same lineup. That's the first thing it solves. The second thing it solves is our left back. Our left back gets covered, they can play wing back, and they can actually offer stuff in the attack. They're our strength. He should be making runs in. He should be getting working should be getting the ball, playing those in. Imagine this. Imagine this pattern of play. We build up, we get into this position, they move the ball around a little bit. Bacasetas makes a run out here. Right? Fortunis picks up the ball from Zeka, and Simikas goes there. He can play that in, or another one. Bakasetas makes a run here. Yakumakis checks in, or makes another run that way. And Fortunis picks up the ball from Zeka and plays it in here. And Simikas is in behind. And then Yakumakis goes back post, or whatever. He can go front post from that position. And Bakasetas is making those runs. Um, in the attack, when we're looking more like this, Another pattern of play, Zeka has the ball, Bacasetas makes another run, right? He's doing something. He makes maybe runs out here, right? He's just at The point of this is that the third thing it does is it makes it much easier for the striker. So let's just say Bacasetas makes a run out here, Zeka has the ball, Yakumakis checks in, Zeka plays Yakumakis, then... Fortunis drops back here, gets the ball, plays it through the lines to Simikas. Yakumas is, is already back running in there. Limio and Bakasetas are running in. So that's my take on it. Basically, what it's saying is in the build-up, Corbelis needs to drop back and become a sort of, uh, kind of like a, a right, like a classic right back or left back. Like, inside, they don't overlap, kind of stays around here. He picks up the ball, he can carry it, he can go. He can, it gives another op uh, option for Seca. It makes, it's, um, it makes it possible for Fortunis and Bacasetas to play together. There's less people standing around right here, trying to break down the defense. Gives Fortunis more room. Gives Timikas cover. Let's Bacasetas play his role better. And in the end... Our strikers are going to get better chances. And it would look more like that. So basically it's okay for Fortunis to start on the left because what he's playing is a inside um, left forward while Tsimikas is that left wing. And I don't even know how these guys would operate together, but I imagine in a similar fashion. Because Fortunis likes to come in here. So that's how we should be playing. Fortunis... Dropping in here, picking up the ball, and Bakasetas running off of Yakumakis.
and that would create so much for our attack and help us break down defenses. It's a pretty obvious strategy. Big teams are using it nowadays, and I don't know why JVS hasn't used it. So yeah, that, uh, that's my take. It's obviously just an opinion, but there are top coaches using this strategy. And um, I think it would make the ethnic key a lot better. When I was watching them play, it was just it just baffled me why they didn't at least try it. I mean, what what would often happen would be this weird double pivot where Corbellis doesn't actually know what to do. Timi and are in line with that. Uh, Limios is really high. Akamakis is isolated. Fortunius is coming in here and picking up the ball and just being surrounded by his own players. Mm, not really. You want players around you, but you don't want them to be closing down space. Then what would end up happening was these guys all hanging out right there. No one here. No left winger here. He's coming in here picking up the ball. Simikas just burning it down, up and down the left, so... I think that you have him making runs out. Corbellis right there. Emilio is still playing the same role he did before. Simikas up high. And that becomes that, 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 that. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Go follow me on Twitter at FootballThanasi. Hope you enjoyed this, and um, see you guys next time.